Journey to the end of the night. Journey to the end of the night. French, Voyage au bout de l'Anne, oui, 1932 is the first novel by Louis Ferdinand Céline. This semi autobiographical work follows the adventures of Ferdinand Bardamou in the First World War. Colonial Africa, the United States, and the poor suburbs of Paris, where he works as a doctor. The novel won the Prix Renaud in 1932 but divided critics due to the author's pessimistic depiction of the human condition and his innovative writing style based on working class speech, slang, and neologisms. It is now widely considered to be one of the greatest novels of the 20th century. Plot Summary Ferdinand Bardamou is a young Parisian medical student who, in a fit of enthusiasm, voluntarily enlists in the French army on the outbreak of World War I. During his first engagement with the enemy he decides that the war doesn't make any sense and he needs to clear out. Alone on a nocturnal reconnaissance mission. He meets a French reservist named Leon Robinson who wants to be captured by the Germans so he can sit out the war in the relative safety of a prisoner of war camp. Bardemou and Robinson make their way to a French town but there are no Germans there to surrender to. Disappointed, they go their separate ways. Bardemou is wounded in action and receives the Madame Militaire. On convalescent leave in Paris, he meets an American volunteer nurse named Lola with whom he has an affair. They visit an amusement park where Bardemou suffers a nervous breakdown at the shooting gallery. He tells Lola that he rejects the war because he doesn't want to die for nothing. Lola tells him he is a coward and leaves him. Bardemou begins a relationship with Mazine, a violinist. However, she soon leaves him for a succession of rich Argentinians who have profited from the war. He is transferred to a hospital which specializes in electrical therapy and patriotic psychiatry. He is eventually pronounced psychologically unfit for service and discharged from the military. Bardemou travels to French colonial Africa, where he is put in charge of a trading post in the jungle interior. He finds that the trading post is only a dilapidated hut, and the man he is relieving is Robinson. Robinson tells him that the company cheats its employees and the natives so it is sensible to cheat the company. Robinson sneaks away during the night. After a few weeks, Bardemou catches a fever and sets fire to the trading post in his delirium. Fearing punishment for defrauding the company, Bardemou decides to flee to the coast. Natives from the nearby village carry Bardemou, who is still delirious, to a Spanish colony where a priest sells him to a ship owner as a galley slave. The ship sails to New York where Bardemou is put into quarantine until his fever subsides. He talks his way into a job with the quarantine authority and is sent into Manhattan on an errand. He goes in search of Lola and eventually tracks her down. She is now rich and eager to be rid of him. She gives him a hundred dollars and he leaves for Detroit in search of work. He is employed on the assembly line at Ford Motor Company but finds the work exhausting and dehumanizing. He falls in love with a prostitute named Molly who wants him to settle down in America with her but he confesses his mania for escaping from whatever situation he is in. He runs into Robinson and is surprised to learn that he has failed to make anything of himself in America. He decides to return to France and finish his medical training. Back in Paris, Bardemou completes his medical studies and starts a practice in the bleak suburb of Rancy. The residents are mostly too poor to pay him and he mainly deals with the consequences of botched abortions and takes on hopeless cases which other doctors won't touch. His patients include Madame Henroux and her husband whose mother, Grandma Henroux, lives in a shed behind their house. They want her committed to a mental asylum but Bardemou refuses to help them. They hire Robinson to kill her but the booby trap he prepares for her explodes in his face, blinding him. In an attempt to hush the scandal, the Henry arrange for Robinson and Grandma Henry to manage a mummy exhibit in the crypt of a church in Toulouse. The old woman turns the exhibit into a profitable venture. Robinson, whose eyesight is gradually improving, becomes engaged to a woman named Maud Aylan who sells candles at the church and has been caring for him. Robinson and Maud Aylan plan to murder Grandma Henry and take over the exhibit. 
One night Robinson pushes the old woman down the steep staircase to the crypt, killing her. Meanwhile, Bardemou finds a job in a lunatic asylum on the outskirts of Paris. The director of the asylum, Dr. Bereton, starts taking English lessons from Bardemou. Moved by the Elizabethan poets and the tragic history of Monmouth the Pretender, Bereton loses all interest in psychiatry and leaves for England. Putting Bardemou in charge of the asylum. Robinson meets Bardemou and explains that he has left Modellan and their lucrative job at the crypt because he doesn't want her and her love. Bardemou allows him to stay at the asylum and gives him a menial job. Modellan tracks Robinson down and threatens to turn him into the police if he doesn't marry her. Sophie, a nurse at the asylum, suggests that she and Bardemou should go on a double date with Robinson and Modellan in order to reconcile them. The four go to a carnival but during the taxi ride back to the asylum Robinson tells Modellan that he doesn't want to be with her because love disgusts him. They have a violent argument and Modellan shoots Robinson and flees. Robinson dies and Bardemo reflects that he hasn't yet been able to find an idea bigger than death. End of the summary. Thank you.